Santino and I are going to show you how to save coleus cuttings. So I've gone outside and I've taken cuttings from coleus plants before the first frost and I've trimmed off most of the large leaves and pinched out the leaves from the top center. So I've done this with three little branchlets of some coleus I'd like to save. I bring them inside and I fill some small baby food jars, shot glasses and vases up with just tap, regular tap water. Then I take a coleus and re-trim the end. Just give it a little snip with some kitchen scissors and put it straight into the water. So let's do that with all three of them. How's that Santino? Looking good? All right. So then I just take the coleus cuttings and I put them in my windowsill and I have a nice sunny southern exposure. So I place them on the windowsill and leave them there all winter. And so this is a, cu a cutting I took a few weeks ago and you see what's already happened. The roots have grown and sprouted and I'll need to move this up to a larger size vase so let's do that now. Okay. So I have a larger vase filled with water taking the coleus cutting out while it's root I'm going to tease them out a little bit to open them up and then place them in the new water. I'm also going to pinch off the top two leaves again, see if you can see that. And what it does is make the rest of the growth bushy and low instead of leggy and going all over the place. I'm also going to pinch out some of these large leaves because they're just wasting energy creating these large leaves. And I want them to spend more energy producing healthy roots. All right, painless, easy. And next year, I'll have a coleus plant already started, and I can make several more. So I can take this coleus, actually, pinch out the top growth, put that in the same vase of water. So we'll strip out some of the bigger leaves and have energy go to root production. And I'll put that back in the small vase again. So now, two coleus plants will be ready for next year spring. What do you think, Santino? 